Hey everybody, Kusmos here with episode 11 of Last Dream. As before, this is added in, uh, this is a post commentary due to issues with my microphone on the original recording. But uh, we're getting right to fighting the mutated ghoul we left off right before last time. A uh, quick comment regarding the music. Uh, where previously I had to silence some of the music due to issues with content ID. This entire fight was silent, so I went back and grabbed myself a... what I thought was a rather enjoyable Creative Commons song. Um, sorry, I can't remember the name of the artist offhand, but I will of course add all the relevant information in the description. Um, as with pretty much all of the Hunting Guild fights, this one was rather kind of tough, so... Unlike most of my fights, I'm leaving this one in full, since this is kind of a, I guess, a mini-boss fight. I'm pretty much using all my scans, since for whatever reason they don't show the actual information. During the fight, I pretty much only use them to give an accuracy and critical buff to everybody. First round, of course, is buff everybody up. Narrowly escaped a doom there. No idea what it does. And of course, for any big monster, we always hit the XP plus. Now, of course, I didn't have all that much to boost my MP, so Jareth there is running a bit low. But we're starting the stealing process. Nice holy light bomb. I think it's a second or third tier bomb. Pretty nice little thing. But I've leveled up to the point that at least. It this point that I can handle this guy pretty easily. And a bit more effort than the run-of-the-mill fights. It's pretty much Jareth is continuously stealing because as far as I can tell any monster has multiple I items to steal. See there, got a holy bomb. I think that's the bottom tier of the bomb. Still pretty nice. And there we go. Mutated Ghoul is down. Pretty good, 60 SP. And a single bone, with a rather unpleasant crunch noise. And here we have, finally arrived in Doria. Completely missed the sign that time, the town of Doria. We're leaving off going down the wall right now, we want to talk to everybody. There's been a rash of burglaries lately. My own neighbor had her home invaded, and it seems the town guards aren't doing a thing about it. I've heard rumors that there's an underground thievery ring hidden somewhere in the town. The trick, of course, now is synchronizing how long it takes me to say what they're saying, and to how long I've left the text up on the screen. check on the books, because maybe one of these times they'll actually give something useful, but otherwise it's kind of interesting seeing reference to world books. Are you just learning new skills? Yes, I am, but these are kind of expensive. Just kind of wandering around the shop, seeing that, aha, see? Prince always hit something in somewhere. Prince the way these games go. Notice what looks like an overworld castle on the small map. But aha, just a sand castle. Actually kind of cute using the overworld icons to make a sand castle. wonder if we'll actually run into a tower that looks like that later. What are you staring at? How dare you look at me with such leftful eyes? I'm a respectful woman. A respectable woman. I will not succumb to your lecherous adventures. Leave me alone before I call the Royal Guard. It's a terrible woman voice. Hmm, a mysterious looking man with a... something over his face. You don't look at the law. 100 gold to enter. No thanks. Later. Move along then. Pretty much searching every nook and cranny. Probably should have checked behind that house to see if we could get back there, but... Oh well. Hello! Did you know this is the largest city on the continent? There are some interesting sites here that you won't find anywhere else. You should check out the Relic Collector if you haven't been there yet. 
I might just do that. A companion to pragmatism. Alright, lady, do you have anything for me to steal? Fireplace? Oh, a note. There's no great thing to love those who love you. Get out of the way, lady. Thing on the porch? Nope, just a nice little setting area. I'm wondering if she was supposed to be old. You know, old blue-haired lady, or if it's standard anime blue-haired lady. My husband left for the Eastern Continent. He had business in Riverdale. Do you know where that is? I guess she didn't want to give me a chance to say no. Victory of Valhalla. He sought victory, and now he resides in Valhalla. I guess it's victory and Valhalla, huh? Now we will seek victory, brother, and we will see you in Valhalla. Uh, actually, after recording this, I discovered that a lot of these tombstones, and I think, I think the tombstones, definitely the statues, are actually references to uh, donators on, I believe, the Kickstarter. They also had some where you could donate through the website, I guess, after the Kickstarter was over. I spent probably entirely too long looking at these, hoping that one is a red troll born under a bridge, ate a bad goat. Uh, but hoping one is some kind of secret to lead me somewhere. Here lies Isaac Nick. His memory will live on for... Well, guess not. Here lies Ar Harley. He was the sweetest kitty you could have ever met. Kind of ornery, though. Here lies Avi, but owned by a creeper. Got all the Minecraft references. Well, I do. And so do you. Wow, uh, anyways. <laughs> there are many tiny islands off the coast of this continent, which are relatively on map. To name just two, as the deserted island direct to the east. Not much of interest to there, to my knowledge. I can't be habitable with the kind of monsters inhabit it. There's also a slightly larger island north by northeast. Likewise, it's uninhabited due to the monsters were there. Georgia Beach and Harbor. We'll go back to the harbor later. I hope to mope er, whoops. I hope to hop onto the next ship to the Eastern Continent and make my way as a sailor. Have you been to the Eastern Continent yet? There are only two large cities in the Eastern Continent. The largest city is Riverdale, which is near the east southern coast of the continent. To reach Riverdale by ship, you should sail directly east past the deserted isle until you reach the coastline of the eastern continent. Then just follow the coastline until you find the first port. Travel north by northwest, and you'll shortly arrive at Riverdale. The other city is the city of Rubicon, which I've heard is near Mount Gera, a huge volcano. I'm just well acquainted with the geography of that region, so I can't give you precise directions. And I'm guessing by the relics that this is the Relic Collector's. Okay, I'm guessing by the fact that I've already played through this and know it's the Relic Collector. But still, a lot of relics. Big clue here. Grace Traveler kept raving about the number 030813. I have no idea what it means. Oh, well, no idea what it means. Trying to read all the things. And finally... Amazing! You have the two ancient relics I've been looking for. Please, I must have them. What do you want for them? A ship? Very well. You may have my ship in exchange for both the relics. Thank you. The ship is moored in the port outside the city. Sweet. And into the fireplace. Which, at the time, I just thought it was a doorway. I just discovered it until I tried to go into a different fireplace that... No, it's a fireplace. I should also eventually use those warp stones instead of just walking out of every dungeon I come to. And I don't... There were stairs there that I don't think I noticed at the time. I don't know if I've ever noticed them. I've heard some troubling rumors about the old Alexandrian outpost on the eastern continent. It had been vacant for about 30 years until an unknown force of soldiers took up residence there. Their intent is unclear, but having an unknown military force so close to Dory has reason for concern. I really don't think an outpost on a different continent is entirely too close. Uh, yeah, see, that's fireplace. Could not go into that one. But 
of course, we must look for all the things. Well, hello again. What a silly monster remains to me. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the item shop. Okay, I'm not doing a voice for the item shop, people. And I'm going to work shopping later. So you're the one who feed the mutate ghoul. You beat me to the punch. I it all over a fort and couldn't find it. I'm doing the same voice for everyone now. Whoops. Such a sad horn there. You bastard! You're the fellow who collected on the wall off by the relic collector. That was my money! Oh, he's supposed to be drunk, not... Whatever that was. You and you are... You and I are similar men. Some people live their lives in one village, others on a sizable island, and some a continent. For guys like you and me, we live all across Terra. Just make sure you have a sense of home somewhere. I recently returned from a trip to Gaia. What a lovely place to visit. The townspeople are all so pleasant, and the wine and cheese are to die for. That is, of course, if you like that sort of thing. As part of my training... My sensei sent me to explore the bowels of the Earth Gear. I got lost on the third floor, but somehow made it back to the entrance via a completely different route. Very odd. When I was down on the third floor, I thought I heard voices. Very odd. I'll have to check on the Earth Cave later. Something I can find. Have you been to the Eastern Continent? As the Royal Cartographer, I was ordered by the King of Doria to explore the giant volcano, Mount Gera, on the eastern continent. I fear that it might soon erupt. When I was exploring the caldera, there were extensive tremors. And that's it. What? Did you know that there's a place where Eli and Moa ride a gathering race? I've never been there myself, but I've heard it's somewhere on the eastern or er, northwest continent. If you don't have a giant moa, they'll rent you one for a price. I finally had the big score I needed to buy ship passage to Lucky's Casino. The casino is far to the northwest and it'll likely take a few weeks to make the journey. Wish me luck. What are you drinking? Tonic? And here's where I discover you can buy tonics at the bar. I don't know if I've seen bars before and just didn't talk to the bar geek because... I don't know why I haven't, actually, if I haven't. I just didn't want to buy anything. And Rust, they actually sold stuff. And buy a few of these. Don't know how they work. I'll eventually remember to actually use them. I also wonder, if, now that I think of it, if these are affected by the engineer. And how exactly it works. I suppose I'll have to test that out later. But, uh, spoiler, not this episode. Hello, Kusmos. I'm glad to see you found your way here. My father sent me to help you make your way to Riverdale to meet Atticus. I can fully forgot I was supposed to meet somebody. Great! You've already found and traded the two ancient elven relics for the relic collector's ship. You should sail directly east, past the deserted island, to the eastern continent coastline, follow the coastline's southern edge until you reach the first port. You should land at the port and then travel for a short time to reach Riverdale. There, you should find my father's friend, Atticus. Hopefully, he'll be able to answer some of your questions. Whew. Apparently, I read her kind of quick the first time around. Ah, and on to the castle. Or, well, mostly onto the castle. So that on top of the castle. Close enough, right? Aha, treasure chest. And another potion. I really got to wonder if being able to pick those chests for free is balanced out by the relative weakness of my party. I pretty much all have, I have all utility classes. Engineer for digging, thief for lock picking, gray mage for being able to do a little of everything. We received a message from our guard at the woods of despair that you had successfully passed through. The king would like to see you at once. And the hunter for hunting Moa and scanning. This kind of does have a use of its own. Not as useful since I can't read it in in middle of fight. Welcome, mighty warrior. I have a favor to ask of you. 
exchange, I will grant you one request. The favor is to take a ship from my royal navy and sail to a deserted island in the middle of the central ocean. There, you will find an ancient hermit who I exiled many years ago. Information has recently come to light that clears him of the treasonous actions that I believed him to have committed. I would like you to bring him back. I cannot send my own soldiers because the monsters on the island are so dangerous. It may be that this man has already polished, polished, perished, but I must know if he still lives. He may have important information. We accept this task. I guess. You have my thanks. A ship from the Royal Navy will immediately take you to the island. Are you ready? I sure. Why not? And the sailing, sailing, we shall go. You've got to wonder why a deserted island has this huge dock, though. And take a quick look around. Okay, it's just a desert island. And apparently I'm staring at the menu for a little bit. Oh yes, I forgot how to use my camping items. And the cottage, I think, actually boosts my MP a little bit. But, as we'll see shortly, it's a little bit of waste. Visitors? Isn't this a pleasant surprise? Let me guess. The King of Doria has sent you to murder me and end this miserable existence. Ah, uh, well. What? He has pardoned me? Unbelievable! I will not be able to forgive him so easily for taking the last fifty years of my life from me. You see... The king imprisoned me fifty years ago, when I spread word of a vision of the future I had. The vision that was granted me described the world being slowly devoured by a growing darkness. The evil power was taking souls in order to extend its own existence, and inexorably turning this world into a barren husk. When I took to the streets distributing pamphlets detailing my vision, Doria was racked by riots. So maybe you should have told someone like the king first. The king begged me to relent, but I could not when I knew that darker days were coming. I wonder if one of the omens I predicted has come to pass. That seems to be the only reason that the king would release my exile. Sadly, I cannot leave this island. Several weeks ago a bat stole my precious medallion from around my neck. It flew deeper into the cave. I couldn't follow the bat in the cave in my present condition because of the monsters. When I was a younger man, I explored the depths of the cave and found that this must have been some sort of fort or stronghold in ancient times, because there are so many booby traps inside in the form of spike strips. Would you please retrieve the medallion for me? Then I will return with you to Doria. Fine, I guess. Thank you. The entrance to the cave, rest of the cave is directly behind me. The king left me an enormous amount of preserved supplies so many years ago. Odd oh, that he didn't simply let me starve. I'm a return to civilization. I will need some coinage. Hence, I will be willing to sell you my supplies at a reasonable price. Would you like to buy some? Let's see what you have. Nah, I'm good. I'll resurrect any dead party members for free. Would you like me to continue with the ritual? Nobody's dead. And there, I can rest for free. So I wasted a cabin. Well, good note the time. And, of course, check if he has anything hidden. Nope, guess not. Now to find my way around this cave, which I've just now realized is completely silent. Let's pull the switch. Always a good idea to pull an unknown switch. Ah, presumably drop those. And here's our first sped up fight. Tense. Exciting. Dramatic. Action. It's over now. More spikes, that was quite simple. Less so there. Ah, but what's this? Probably have to have those spikes up to have other spikes down. Another quick fight. Means we have to drop the spikes on the other side from somewhere else so we can get out. And there it is. Okay, we flip the switch a bit just to 
well, I don't know why we flipped the switch for a bit. I guess I was trying to work things out in my head. The problem, of course, is the post commentary. I don't know why I did what I did. And, of course, check all the things. Got to be loot somewhere, right? More spikes. Where did I miss a switch? I honestly don't actually remember where I missed a switch. Man, where's the blink of an eye? It's over. Go down here first. Thinking, maybe we did something wrong there. Actually, that's not half a bad idea. Over there, just in case something's changed. Quick fight with a bit of spell casting, since there's a lot of these guys. Actually, doing, doing a good bit of damage to me there. See how fast this, the longest light is lasting. I'm sped up four times. Probably tell the troubles I had with it. And a bit more wandering around. I don't know why I think that would do anything useful. Oh, switch back up, that might do something. There we go. And let's see if we drop what we needed. First, let's fight some stuff. Actually, let's see what healing Kuzmos up. He's hurt a bit, and it did. Drop the spikes, not hurt. I have a feeling this one will be a bit complex. Flip levers, see what drops. Next lever, drops what we needed, and we get attacked. This fight goes pretty quick, mainly because I think I decided to bomb them. Or not, I really can't tell. Problem, of course, with this post commentary and the sped up fights. I just noticed those chests sound more like a chomping noise. Or at least they do on the volume I'm listening to it at. It's kind of strange. I get kind of a point of view on uh, my videos that I don't usually get. Yeah, we're recording. I'm usually just spot checking, looking for problem areas. Post commentary. Of course, I watched the entire thing through from beginning to end, and in some cases, several times. I'm guessing somehow we have to drop those spikes off to the right, and have to figure out how. So I'm assuming something. Uh, something else that I end up thinking is a boss monster just because, well, it's kind of big and, I don't know, monsters all by themselves are a little strange. Here's where we saw, of course, that, uh, that paralyze effect almost from my smite. Apparently it smites the undead. Well, no, well, we know it smites, but apparently smite paralyzes the undead. And I'm completely lost as to where the switch for those spikes to the right are. Have I missed something? Yes, I have. Now it took me a few switches to actually see that. I just don't go wizard because they have nice things. And I hate the spiders because they poison me. This is actually also one of our tough fights, for whatever reason. And beep there again was healing the poison. Now just have to remember which switches control what, and get back to where I'm going. Decided to run away from that one because, well, I'm just about finished here. We'll save this up. There's the bat I'm looking for. But before I get to the bat, well, one, that bat is 
not a bat. It's a little baby gargoyle or something. Anyways, blocking the way seems to be a treant. But we'll get a closer look at the treant next episode. Till then, guys. Catch you later.